Welcome to channel Coins Worth Money. In this video, I will tell you about three rare valuable coins from three different countries. This coin is from South Korea and it was issued during the Republic period, which is from 1948 up till now. Well, it is a standard circulation coin and such designs were issued from years 1970 to 1982. And this coin was issued during 1972. The denomination or the value is 100 won. Well, the metal composition of this coin is copper nickel. That is, it is made up of 75% copper and the nickel content is 25%. It is weighed uh, 5.42 gram and the diameter is 24 millimeter. It is about 1.6 millimeter thick and it is round in shape. This coin was made by Mill Technique and the orientation is upside down coin alignment. Now the obverse features the Admiral Ji Sun Sin and he was the Korean's national hero and there is a Korean legend Bank of Korea present below the portrait. The script on the obverse is in Hangul language and the lettering translation is 100 won, Bank of Korea. Well, the engraver of the obverse was Kang Baek. The reverse features the denomination in numerals above the date within a circular design and the lettering is 100 1972. Well, the engraver of the reverse was also Kang Baek. Edge of the coin is rated and this coin was minted at Korea Minting and Security Printing Corporation DG on South Korea. It is 1972 won from South Korea. Well, Ji Sun Sin was Korean admiral and military general famed for his victories against the Japanese Navy during the Imjin War in the Joseon period. He was born on April 28, 1545 and died on December 16, 1598 at the age of 53. Ji is regarded as one of the greatest naval commanders in history, with commentators praising his strategic vision, intelligence, innovation and personality. He is one of the most renowned historical figures in Korea, with multiple landmarks, awards and towns named after him, as well as numerous films and documentaries centered on his exploit. His seven-year personal records of the war, collectively known as the Nen Jung Ilji, are listed as a part of UNESCO Memory of the World Initiative. Well, as a young boy, Ji played war games with other local boys showing excellent leadership talent at an early age and constructed his bow and fleshed his own arrows as a teenager. Well, this coin is from South Korea and it is 101 1972 coin and it is very rare and valuable coin. Well, our second coin is from Saudi Arabia and it was issued during 1397 that is 1977 and the denomination or value is half real or 50 halala. It is also called Khalid coin. This was issued during the rule of King Khalid bin Abdul Aziz who ruled from 1975 to 1982. Well, it was a standard circulation coin and such designs were actually issued during 1977 to 1980 and the Islamic years are 1397 to 1400. And this coin was issued in 1977, that is 1397. Denomination or the value is 50 halala, it is also called half real. Now the metal composition of this coin is copper nickel, that is it is 75% copper and 25% nickel. Now the weight of the coin is 6.5 gram, diameter is 26 millimeter, and it is about 1.6 millimeter thick. Shape of the coin is round and this coin was made by milled technique. Now the orientation is very important and it is metal alignment that is both upside. Now the obverse features crossed swords and a palm tree and these are present in the center and these are flanked by dates and legend above and below. Now the script here is in Arabic and the translation of the lettering is Khalid bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, King of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Well, the reverse features legend above inscription in a circle 
dividing the value and date below. The script is also a here in Arabic and the translation of the lettering is 50 halala that is half real and the date of issue is 1397 and there is H mint mark or he for hijri. Now the edge is read it. This coin was minted at Royal Mint, Aintree Sound, United Kingdom, which is minting coins from 1968 up till now. Now the on the reverse side of uh, such types of coin, the he hijra is placed on the left of the year for 14, uh, 1400 issues. That is those coins which were issued in 1400. The he is placed on the left of the year while the coin 1397 which is this coin the hay is placed between 3 and 9. Well King Khalid was appointed as the deputy prime minister of Saudi Arabia in 1962 and after Khalid's full brother Prince Mohammed stepped aside from the royal succession King Faisal named Khalid as crown prince in 1965. Well, this coin is a rare and valuable coin from Saudi Arabia, 1397-50 Hilala or half royal Khalid coin. Well, third coin is from Russia and it is two rubles with curved Russian inscription under the eagle. It is a non-magnetic coin and was issued during the Russian Federation period 1991 to date. Well, it is a standard circulation coin and the year of issue is 2006. However, such designs were issued from years 2002 to 2009. The denomination or the value is 2 rubles. The metal composition is nickel brass and the weight is 5.1 gram. Diameter is 23 millimeter and it is 1.8 millimeter thick. It is round in shape and was made by milled technique. Orientation is metal alignment both upside. A first features in the center the emblem of the Bank of Russia which is the two-headed eagle with wings down. There is also denomination, the year of issue and the mint trademark. Well the script is in Cyrillic and the translation of the lettering is 2 rubles Bank of Russia MMT. Well the engraver and the designer of the obverse was Alexander Vasilievich Bank Lenov. Now the reverse feature the value and flower and the script is Cyrillic. The translation is two rubles. Engraver and designer of the reverse was also Alexander Vasilievich Bank Lenov. Well the edge is a segmented reading. Now the mint of this coin was the Moscow mint. Russia and the uh, other type of coins were also minted at St. Petersburg, Leningrad, Petrograd and Russia. Well, coin collecting is also known as numismatics. It is a timeless and enriching hobby that appeals to people of all ages. But did you know that it can be especially beneficial for your children? This fascinating pastime offers a unique combination of educational, social and personal development advantages that make it a great fit for kids and young people. Now coin collecting can be an incredibly educational experience for all. Each coin tells a story providing young collectors with fascinating historical and cultural information. As young people learn about different coins and their origins, they develop a deeper understanding of the world around them. So coin collecting also exposes people to various subjects such as art, economics and even science as they learn about coin composition and the minting process. Now this makes coin collecting a fun and engaging way for people to expand their knowledge in hands-on manner. So today I have shown you three coins from three different countries. One was from South Korea, the other was from Saudi Arabia and the third one is from Russia. All these coins are rare and they are scarce and they are valuable. If you have one type of coin which is valuable, you shouldn't sell it for just few pennies but you should keep this in your collection and pass on to the next generation. 
ओके थैंक यू सब्सक्राइब